Hey guys, today we are looking at how to Bronze Age on the map Continental. We will play with the Shang Sieve and we are going to see how to do a fast Bronze Age in about 11 minutes. So in 11 minutes we will click to the Bronze Age. So we start as usual. We look at the beginning, so the usual uh, two villagers uh, on a house. It's important to put two villagers because they need to build a house fast and at the same time you need to train more villagers. Remember that with Shang, in this case, villagers co one villager costs uh, um, 40 uh, units of food and uh, the other villager will go to look for, for more food. Okay, so... Here I find uh, a good spot of fish, uh, in Continental it's a good map uh, for fishing, uh, even with villagers, uh, so sometimes uh, you want to take uh, fish instead of, um, of uh, berries. On the left here I have, uh, I have more, uh, more food, more fishes, I could uh, build a storage pit here also, it's closer to the, to the wood, but it's okay, I have some, some, I have a tree here also and I have if I build a storage pit here, um, the distance is not much shorter than, than this uh, distance from the town center. So it's okay. Mm, it's, uh, a good, um, this is a good spot for, for collecting food because uh, fishing is uh, much faster than berries uh, or hunting. So it's, uh, it's not a bad thing. If you have Persians, for example, they are faster to hunt, uh, to collect food from hunting, gazelles, elephants and so on. Okay, so now I have four, uh, five villagers on uh, on food. I could uh, even put uh, four villagers because I have Shang in this case, and I need less food to make a villager, but uh, it's fine. I have an artifact, so I'm going to explore uh, a little bit uh, with it, as you see. Another house at six villagers, so you don't get housed. And I start exploring a bit, I find the berries. Okay, put some more villagers on um, wood. So usually you want to put uh, three or four villagers uh, on wood, uh, you, depends on what you want to do. If you want to go fishing ships, uh, you can put uh, more on wood, like uh, six or seven on wood. Uh, in this case, we are going with uh, three, four for the moment. Another house at ten villagers. Now my next goal is to build uh, a storage pit, another storage pit, because I need. Uh, I need to put it near near the wood. As you see, I keep exploring. I have four villagers uh, in production. at uh, 120, 120 wood, as you see I'm trying to build a storage pit, I put it here, I have some fish in here, so it's not a bad position, I have also the stone if I want to go slingers, I need to make another house, let me see if I, if I made it, probably I forgot to build it, try to always remember to build a house, now I had to build it fast, Try not to forget, sometimes I also forget, it's, it's normal, it can happen. Try not to forget uh, to build houses. Okay, now I have 7 on wood in this moment. Bombay. 
Allemaal Gijsa. Allemaal. Darwin. Gijsa. Allemaal. Gijsa. Allemaal. Gijsa. Allemaal. Gijsa. Allemaal. Gijsa. Allemaal. Gijsa. Okay, here I have already <coughs> five, uh, uh, four villagers on, on queue in production. I'm making some fishing ships to increase the, the food collecting. Uh, you could also build a dock uh, while uh, you are going uh, the tool age instead of, uh, of now. Now, with Shang, you might want to go. To click the next stage with uh, 24 27 villagers when normally you go 22 25 because uh, with Shang uh, you need uh, less food so okay now so we are going to the tool age clicking tool age as you see I'm putting uh, my villagers on berries now okay click the tool age at 7 uh, 7 30 about 7 30 Darwin. Darwin. now of course to go to the bronze age if i want to go to the bronze age now i need to make more ships more fishing ships i need to build barracks and then building barracks there I could also go to the ingers in this case. Now I'm, uh, I did this video just to um, to show the the bronze age, but I could go to the ingers because uh, I have stone uh, very close. And with another dock, so I can make more fishing ships. the tool age I need to build a market and another building to, to advance the bronze age so of course in this case I will need a lot of food I'm researching the wall because in a real game you want to wall yourself a bit so I don't need to do it in this uh, in this uh, game, but <coughs> it's against the computer. But I want to do it because I want to show how it's uh, how it is a real a real game. Okay, so now I have enough uh, enough food. I want to move some villagers from uh, from food to sto to sorry from food to wood. I'm building an archery range and soon I can click to the to the bronze age if you want you can do this even faster because as you see I have extra extra food in this case you can research something at the market the the wood upgrade for example uh, you can uh, well as you see I am making I, I even made some more villagers I could uh, click uh, probably in uh, 10 minutes around 10 minutes the bronze age if I made more wood so if I uh, dropped some uh, villagers from the food and I put them I switch them to the to wood to more wood they would have made um, uh, bronze age even faster probably around 10 minutes and uh, maybe less fishing ships fishing ships so this um, of course depends on the moment you can you can uh, adapt okay so you see we are going to the bronze age in uh, less than 11 minutes this is a very good time uh, as i said in this case i could have done it even faster uh, this works of course if you don't get rushed because i am a flank in this case um, if i was in um, brown position uh, i would be uh, more safe safer so um, probably that is that is the best position to go fast bronze age in this case uh, it's uh, very likely that I will get rushed by slingers from someone so 
of course this is just uh, just an example but you can see that it's it is possible to click in 10 11 minutes in continental it's not very hard i have shang in this case if you had uh, Palmyria, maybe you need a bit more time because their villager cost more but they are more productive if you have uh, another um, civilization like Choson or uh, Roman or Yamato um, I think um, 11 minutes is very well doable okay so usually with Shang, when I go Bronze Age, uh, I go Chariots or um, or Composite Bowmen. Uh, depends on the other civilizations also. So if you are against um, against uh, cavalry or against um, uh, Chariots, and you have uh, Yamato as opponent uh, or Assyrian. Yeah, Yamato probably will probably go Scout Rush or Bronze Age and Cavalry, and uh, Syrian will probably go Chariots. So in that case, uh, you might want to build to make uh, Chariots probably, and uh, not because they are effective against Cavalry, because Chariots are not good against Cavalry, but they are faster than Composite Bowmen, unless you want to make a lot of Composite Bowmen and keep them in defense. Or you can also go Cavalry yourself. If you have a good uh, a good position with uh, with the gold, so you have if you have a lot of gold in your uh, uh, near your uh, your town center, you can you can go cover it. As you see here, I have gold here on the left, and I have gold and stone here. So this is a good position for a town center, or here also, or a town center here, and then a town center here. Okay. So I have I, I have a good position with gold, but uh, it's also very exposed. So if I get rushed by uh, archers or chariot archers, they will kill kill my gold. Gold um, here also it's a bit exposed. So um, I don't see a lot of options here. You could build a lot of towers uh, in this position to protect your gold. Uh, if you if you get rushed by chariots, you can defend with uh, slingers or with um, with uh, towers. If you get rushed by cavalry, uh, usually you want to make more cavalry than your opponent because cavalry is fast and you can't uh, stop a cavalry rush with uh, hoplites or with infantry. It's very hard uh, unless you have uh, uh, good uh, um, good position of uh, walls. So um, what I will suggest you, if you get rushed uh, here for, uh, by cavalry, uh, the best option is to wall yourself very well, so you don't let the cavalry come inside. If that happens, if you see that you are uh, struggling against cavalry, you should make, in my opinion, make more cavalry than your opponent. Or if you are already going with archers or chariot archers, you might want to do a lot of archers and uh, and wall uh, wall in an efficient way. So when cavalry comes in, uh, you kill the cavalry. So uh, of course it depends a lot on the uh, on what uh, what you're doing and on the map and uh, your opponents, your allies. So you know. Okay, so while I was going to Bronze Age, I should have researched something in the market, like the bonus uh, for the for the wood, wood collecting. Now, one of the first upgrades you want to do in Bronze Age is uh, the the wheel, and if you are in a water map, uh, you can do the the fishing fishing ships upgrade into fishing boats. Now you see I have a lot of food, I can make uh, a lot of villagers. Okay, I'm researching the wheel now. So I researched the wood upgrade, then the wheel. Now in a real game you would have to make uh, some ships uh, in a continental because you will get rushed by by ships at, at some point.
And okay, now what you can do is uh, to make um, a good army. Uh, this time, at this time, 15 minutes, uh, surely you'll get rushed from someone. So you have to think uh, to wall yourself and to make an army. Now I'm going on composite bowman. Uh, to be honest, composite bowman is uh, quite slow because uh, you need a lot of time to research them, you need to upgrade them in the storage pit and you need to produce them while chariots uh, you already have the when you have the wheel you can already make chariots so it's a better uh, strategy if you want to rush now I, li I like to go composite moments sometimes but this is uh, your choice of course As you see, I keep producing villagers. I make town centers, so uh, I have 21 on food, so now I will have a lot of food to make villagers. As you see, I have already 5 town centers. This is even too much, but this is a good strategy if you are not uh, rushed <coughs> and you want to boom. Now, this can lead to a fast uh, Iron Age even. Now, of course, I'm not walling and not protecting much, but uh, in a real game you will get rushed uh, easily. So now, as you see, this is just a show off of uh, booming. If you want, you can keep uh, producing uh, fishing boats also. If you think uh, that's the case, if you have uh, con water control, for example, you can um, you can keep producing fishing boats, so you have a lot of food uh, incoming. Now, as you see, I don't have military units, so yeah, I have uh, around uh, 90 villagers uh, between villagers and fishing boats. Now I have composite bowmen, as you see they are very slow to, to, to reach as technologies, so it's not always the best choice. As I said, if you want to rush, uh, you probably want to go Charlotte Archers with Shang, in Continental especially, because that's the, probably the best, uh, the fastest rush uh, that you can do. If you go uh, chart archers, remember to research the upgrades in the storage pit, the archer uh, archer armor upgrade, pierce arm, whatever it's called. No, not it's pierce armor. It's the the the, uh, the icon with the arrow. Now I have uh, more than a hundred uh, villagers, as you see. So. I could already go Iron Age. I just need to build a, a siege workshop or something else, a temple, something, and they will, and they can go Iron Age. Now I just make a lot of villagers, a lot of economy. As you see, I have all the town centers saved in a in a control group number five in this case. So when I press five, I press the Q. Key and I make uh, villagers, and now soon I need to make a siege workshop. Here it is. And then I'm going to click to the Iron Age. I have already 140 villagers, so you can see that this is a very strong economy now. 
Now we just need to put more uh, villagers on, uh, on the board. And I need to look for more gold. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Now I will let you, uh, I will allow you to see the rest of the, uh, the video just for fun. sum it up a bit maybe because I can understand that you are here only for the fast bronze age maybe you don't care much about the rest so as you see I'm making a lot of archery ranges I'm happy with the economy I'm making catapults and archers composite bowmen okay making stables to make uh, um, chariots As you see, I'm over 200 pop already. Remember to research the technology in the government center to unlock the, the chariots upgrade, the sub upgrade. Uh, so you you need to make uh, uh, this uh, nobility, I think it's called, uh, this upgrade in the, in the government center so you can unlock the this other upgrade with the charts this one okay and now rushing of course it's against computer it's a standard difficulty i think so and towering him a bit This is pretty much it, as you see, two are gone, red and yellow, green is going soon. So as you see, you can bronze in, in, a, good, uh, in a good time, in around 10-11 minutes. And uh, yeah, so... You see there is not uh, yeah and deleting villagers to make space for army that is something you want to do in case uh, you need uh, you have a lot of villagers but you want to make more army and that's pretty much it so let me know uh, if you want uh, some other videos like this you know, other maps or with a uh, specific civilization I don't know, you want to see Oasis with Palmyrian, for example, a Bronze Age there. I think it's <laughs> that's one of the hardest, maybe. And uh, yeah, let me know if you like the video. Let me know if there is something I can do better, or if you have some ideas, or something that uh, you really want to see. And I will see you in the next video. Let's look at the statistics. So I reached 167 villagers, uh, 26,000 uh, gold, and that's a lot of gold. In a normal game, you will not have something like this, of course. Normally, uh, good players uh, reach 150, 140, uh, or 140 villagers, all of them. Okay, you see more population, so they, they didn't have much. And that's it. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, and let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Thank you. Bye bye.